Hello gorgeous ladies and gentlemen of the realm, Barry Vixen here back again with another video. And we're going to finish up on the um, the sterling stuff. Uh, so this is going to be a short one probably. Um, there's not a ton of it here. Let's put this over here. Eee! Got my ring caught. Okay, let's try to get things sorted out here. This one I'm not sure of. It's beautiful, but it doesn't feel like sterling. I have to test it. If it is sterling, I'm going to have to look it up. Look at the interior of that thing. Pretty! Anyway, got some hoops. Got a necklace with some vermeil. Um, let's just go one thing at a time here. I have a pair of earrings that kind of go with this. Alright, we have some jade. Ooh! Jade earrings and bracelet. Another jade bracelet. Beautiful thing. Really, really nice. The only problem is it's missing its uh, chain, but uh, that is easily fixed. You could take it to your jewelry, jeweler or you could put it on yourself. Very, very simply. So there's that set. I mean, they already said it would be a marriage, but you know, they look good together. This one is. Eh, come on, how you open? It has a lock on it too. Come on, what the? If I could figure it out, Lydia had the same problem the other day with a um, with a cloisonné bracelet, and I'm just gonna put. It's a pretty one. If I can get it apart, um, we'll put it up for sale. It's vermeil and sterling. Very nice. Put it aside. Try to fix it. Sometimes I don't check things over good enough when I buy from him. It's like I want to get there and get out. Um, these are a cute little pair of twisted sterling hoops. And then we have these guys. Look at these. They're heavy. They are hollow, but they are quite substantial. They need a cleaning, but they're really awesome. Awesome, awesome. I saw those and I was like, ooh, that's a big chunk. Chonka, chonka. Oh, really? See, this is what I mean. I did not even realize that these liquid silver earrings were missing. that so these are going to go back in the bag and I will trade them in next time because they are broken because uh, when I find stuff like this from him I usually take it back and trade it for new um, unless unless someone wants these to rework oh they feel like feel like a dream because it's that really silky uh, liquid silver. Darn it. Darn it. Let me know if you want those. These guys were also in the sterling pile but I don't know that they are. But they're adorable and they're articulated. Little bitty fish. Look. Aren't they cute? They're so cute. I thought maybe I had another one here. Might just be two. Here's a vermeil turtle. Enamel. He's really cool too. 
Here's a pair of looks like pearl and aurora and these are these look like pearl and swarovski to me little bitty tiny peacock pearls too really nice really nice 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 and let's see oh this one is really interesting it's a toggle okay and it's got pearls and then it's got vermeil and silver and then it's got some other colored bronze colored pearls and peach colored pearls and some darker pearls and look it's got this little piece of stick pearl here it almost reminds me of a diver's bracelet a pearl diver bracelet because it has all the different kinds of pearls That. Isn't that cool? And it's, let's see, it feels like it's long. It could be an 8 incher. That would be cool. Let's pull that up, out. Pull this out. And I will let you know that it is indeed 8 inches. And that is really different. And it weighs quite a bit too. I haven't, I haven't, um, I haven't weighed anything. I generally just ballpark stuff. I don't even bother, <laughs> which is probably a bad idea. These are, uh, they look to be um, dyed halite, honestly, or um, what you call it? Uh, I can't remember what it's called. But it doesn't look like coral to me at all. But it is sterling. They're pretty. And they are stone, so. Okay. This is really cool. Look at it. Is that writing or is that? Let me look. Let me look. Get my big light and my eyes. <laughs> it's flowers and little faces and cute little stuff. Look at the little got a little smiley face on it. It's just like really interesting little thingies. All right, does it say nine nine nine? Um. That would be nearly pure silver, and this is not bending enough to, for that to be the case. So this one might just be going right back to his place, <laughs> too, because I really don't... Oh, it looks, looks real, but let's see. Alright, see that on the corner there? Let's just do a live test. And look, there it's turning. So it is actually solid sterling, at the very least. That's nice. Okay, do I want to do this one too, just to make sure? Maybe we will, since we've already got the stuff out to do it with. Eh. Eh. Undo. Let's flip it around, get a clean spot. I'm terrible about cleaning my stone. That looks pretty promising too, doesn't it? Well, if that's the case, then this is probably rubies and um, vermeil and then um, Sleeping Beauty in the middle. Um, so let's see. And yes, I used the 18 carat because it makes that lovely blue color. And it's very, very easy to tell if it's faux real or not. 
Now that looks kind of messy, so I'm thinking that's plated. You see how this one is brightly bright, bright, bright? And this one looks like it's kind of floating. Um, I think that means that it's plated. So, but it's still a beautiful bracelet, even. It's just not sterling. And it could still be, um, uh, what do you call it? Rubies. This, I don't think, is anything. I think it's just glass. Or a CZ. It's a size 6. It's never been worn. It's adorable. It's a beautiful color. It looks like a tanzanite color. If that's a, <laughs> if that's a big old tanzanite, I'll eat my hat. That's crazy. I don't have a um I don't have a tester either. Alright, we have a little brooch. And then we have whoa, a bigger brooch of the same design. Hold on a sec. That seems to like to eat chains, apparently. There, okay. Now these guys are a pair, it looks like because we have come on there we go we have the same they're both brooches okay and they're both also pendants so this is more diminutive and this is a larger one so I think I think these might have come in a set with some other stuff too. But they're they're dirty, 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 dirty. That's why they look gold. They're not vermeil. They're sterling. And there is a word on the back and it says sterling and that's all it says. It does not say anything else. So these guys are really cool looking. I don't know what stones those are. I don't know if they're rhinestones or seeds or moissanite or white sapphires or diamonds or I don't know. Oh hey, stimulus check. Mm. <laughs> Maybe it's time for presidium. <laughs> uh, I can't justify it. It's just yeah, I don't get enough stuff with stones in it really. Here's a beautiful old ring. And then there's some modernish. Here's the other one. Earrings. This earring. This earring. This earring. Not that earring. We got a hook in there. Come on now, get out of there. Get out of there. There we go. Okay, so we have these guys that are. Kind of the same material. Probably a coral that is not dyed. Yeah. You see the variation in color? So we have these pretty little earrings, multiple chains, and this ring that kind of go together. Let's see what size the ring is. Ring, 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 ring. The ring is nearly an eight. Pretty, pretty. And here's one of these multi stone guys. It looks like iolite or amethyst. Peridot. I'm not sure of the orange one. Citrine. What is that orange one? That's really pretty. But that's a sterling as well. Unless he's a big fat liar. But he usually he tests things. Unless he's, I don't know, if he's binge drinking or whatever. <laughs> then there probably isn't any much testing going on. Uh, so we might have to test him. This one is very pretty. It looks Tibetan. It's got some green Chinese turquoise. And some coral, 
And look at the dome on that sucker. It's a six. Yeah, I think it's a six because it doesn't fit anywhere but my. Oh wow, it's not even a six. It's like just at a six. So, yeah. And it's too heavy to wear on my six, so. Ooh. That's really neat looking. <laughs> Oh, look at the little blue topaz. I have a pair of earrings in the bin already that matches this. So I will put a, uh, I'll put a nice thin chain on there and put the earrings with it and I'll sell those as a set. Yes, indeed, Elise. And now we have, look, it's a, it's a really cool stirrup ring. With a peridot in the middle, rectangular peridot. I like that one. I like it a lot. Gosh, we're at 16. We might actually make a full video out of all this. All right, this one is a serpentine chain, reasonably long. Would go nice with some of those um, pendants that I pulled out the other night, last night. Uh, Pretty, 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 pretty. Oh, I also want to thank you all for being at our auction yesterday in the afternoon. Those of you that were there, and the rest of you that weren't, that's fine too. Um, but we're going to be doing it every Friday at 4 p.m. Um, Except for the last Friday of the month, because that is, uh, we'll be doing Thursday, the last Thursday of the month with, um, Roberta and me and, and Lori. And I don't know what stone this is. It might be Prenite, pre, pre Prenite, 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 I can't, uh, I can't, I can't pronounce it, but it looks it to me. And it has these little, these little guys. Oh, hey, look, there's a name. Baroni. B-A-R-O-N-I. So I'll have to look that one up. I don't have a clue what that, if that's a, something I should be very proud that I've got or not. This is a teeny little amethyst pendant on a very nice chain. Sterling. Yes, indeed, Elise. All right, now we have these guys that are green turquoise. Where's the other one? That are missing their... They're missing their hooks. But I did find a couple of hooks while I was digging through his stuff that are sterling that I can add to them. Yeah, I go. I think they don't match though. Darn it! Okay, well we have these two, and then these little Aztec guys. Where's the other one? Here he is. That need sterling hooks. Look at these guys. Aren't they cool? They might be neat if... I wish you could put it over top. Look at that. That would look neat. But they are separate. And they are beautiful. Both of them. But they need hooks, so... I have to, um... I have to figure out if I can get some hooks to work. There's one hook. Um, here's some amber. Green and honey amber. Earrings, very cute. Now, do they feel sticky? 
Yes, they do. So that's real. That's real. Here's a little little bitty chain. I'm going to finish this because um, it's we're at 20, but I still have some stuff left. That's a nice little chain. It looks to be about 16 inches. Hmm. This is a beautiful piece. It looks to be... I wish I could see what color that is. It almost looks like hematite, but it's not heavy enough. It's something and pearl. And that's, I think that's a seven. Seven, seven. Yep, there you go. It's a seven. There you go. Yep, yep, a yep. Okay, and now we have a spoon ring that is a six. But the nice thing about spoon rings is you can open them up or close them. And that's really cool. And I knew, I know that someone is. Alrighty. Um, I was having trouble with my camera, so we'll see if we can get the rest of this done. Uh, ooh, this is a nice chain. Little sterling chain. I've got a bunch of the little sterling chain. This is a beautiful multi stone, uh, aquamarine, um, amethyst, peridot, citrine, garnet. Gorgeous thing. Beautiful. Let's see if we can't get it undone. These things really. There we go. Let's see, how long are you? Beautiful thing. This is a, a lovely, lovely piece. And this one is seven inches. Gorgeous, look at that. Mm -mm. Like candy. All right, let's see. We've got pearls set in silver. Very nice. And they're gray pearls. Gray pearls and silver. And then we have little uh, abalone, more abalone. Lots of abalone I've been getting. That's a nice thing to grab because they're they're not harvesting it anymore, so you cannot get it unless you're Native American. There you go. Or if they haven't quit doing it they're going to stop doing it very soon. This looks to me to be strawberry quartz and little tiny earrings. Very cute. It's either cherry or strawberry. I always mix those up. They don't have any backs so they'll come to you without backs because I uh, don't have any sterling backs. This is a cute little pendant. I can put that on a little chain for you too. Cute. Here's one with sterling findings. It's a um, it's a, a dyed halite choker with a sterling clasp. This one I'm not sure what it is. I think it's um, orange calcite, and that uh, looks like a hand on one. Very nice. Ooh, they're, they're very smooth. Very nice. Okay, what have we here? We have, haha, <laughs> we have a mercury dime that hubby wanted. Okay. <laughs> Alright, why do I have this one? I don't see a match to it. That looks like uh, tanzanite. Um, I hope I have, do I have the other one? It's not lost in the bag, is it? Darn it! No, I guess not. I think it might have got caught on a chain. I don't I don't think it had a match to it, so darn. That'll have to go back to him uh, as well. These are beautiful 
garnets, gorgeous things. Here's a lovely heavy chain, reasonably long. It's not a serpent. Well, it is kind of a serpentine. Real pretty, real heavy. Nice. And then we have this that is all very small beads, and they were are all uh, labradorite. That is a nice one to wear as a bracelet if you have a larger wrist. Because I don't know this kind of necklace; it just seems to get lost on your neck. Just you know, it's really hard to, and this is three inches across if you double it. So that's how I would wear that if it was me. If it was me, I'm not keeping it, so it won't be me. And this is turquoise heishi. Or not turquoise. I can't tell. I can't tell, but it has... The cones on the end. And a nice hook, but it doesn't have the little uh, sunset detail on the cones, so I don't think that it's native. But it's a very beautiful little multi strand guy. Very cute. I have to put that with my native inspired things. I don't think I have much real uh, native stuff, but I have a lot of stuff that's inspired by it. And I'm pretty inspired tonight. Uh, gorgeous. Put that in there too. Put the fishy back on. Now, um, I'd like to thank you all for being here. Um, please leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment in the down there. And if you see something you can't live without, please leave a timestamp of the item in which you are interested in the comments below. Uh, but if you'd like, you could send me an email with that same information, plus the title of the video and the date that it was posted so that I can find your items. And if you haven't bought from me before, please do include your name, your address, your PayPal email, and your YouTube name, that way I can get everybody, get it all matched up and um, invoiced and sent out to you. <sighs> yeah, this was a fun one. Um, yeah, I'm not real comfortable doing the whole pricing as I go thing yet, so please bear with me. I will get, I will get better at it. Um, yes, remember that I love each and every one of you. And be yourself, because everyone else is taken. Bye-bye.